Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my cancers. And this is going to be a message for whenever it reaches you. I will be using my witch's tarot deck. And to clarify, I'll be using learning tarot cards. If you're interested in these tarot decks or any of the decks that I use, I have them all listed down below. I do have to update the list um, because I have tons of tarot cards. But um, there's a list down below there. Um, also, if you're interested in the crystal bracelets that I wear, they're from Otter Spirit. There's a link down there. You can use that link and you will get 20% of the bra off of your bracelets, whatever you buy, okay? That's totally up to you, though, if you'd like to. So I'm just letting you know about them. So, my darlings, my cancers, let's see what message or messages we have for you. To anyone and everyone stopping by, darlings, you know I welcome you all with open arms and an open heart. Please know that I deliver these messages to you from my heart to your heart always. Please take what resonates and leave what does not. Okay, baby? So let's see. So cancer, this is for you. We got the five of swords in the past. There were some arguments here. We got the star card, but no matter what, you kept the faith alive. You kept your hope alive and you overcame that argument. You got the ace of cups. Ooh, love is on the horizon. New love or your cup is overflowing with abundance. Past energy, the justice card. Something may be out of balance or it might be legal matters. The, for me, the justice card is about integrity, setting out with integrity, um, doing the right thing, opening, you know, set out with the right intentions. You know what I mean? If things get messed up or along the way or down the road, at least you know that was in your intention when you set out to do it, you know? Uh, we got the Three of Pentacles. It looks like um, the universe has the, her hands in your financial matters and things are going to start growing for you. We got the Six of Pentacles, balance financially, um, giving and receiving. We got the Tower, there might be a moment of chaos and confusion. It might feel like things are breaking down or shaking up. Now, always remember when these things, this, these, this sudden confusion comes, just let it happen and just sit back, let it pass because it will pass. Just remember to breathe and take care of yourself, okay? Um, we got the Seven of Swords, there might be some lies hanging around. Oh, no. Um, the note that I made of this card when I first got them because they were different to my regular cards, you know, so they, I used to get confused, you know, I'm really open, I'm an open book, I'm learning, I'm learning every day, I'm learning. So what I note I wrote in here is about new solutions, thinking outside the box, relying on your street smarts, cunning and avoiding confrontation. Okay, so but I always feel like the Seven of Swords is a little deceitful energy. And the towel being next to it or just coming after the towel might be deceitful. You know what I'm saying? Um, we got the Eight of Swords. You're going to probably get yourself tied up into a situation there, okay? Um, that situation is something you can get out of. It's something you put yourself in and you can get out of it. So let's clarify for Cancer, the Five of Swords, you got the Sun, you got the Nine of Wands, and you got the Six of Cups. This argument was in the past. It's something about the past. Um, you overcame it. We got the Sun, which is a positive card. It's about joy and positivity and happiness. We got the Nine of Wands. That argument didn't 
keep you down. You got right back up. And it came from something or someone from the past here. We got the sun, we got the nine of wands, and we got the six of cups. Or maybe you having some kind of conflict is happiness because something from the past is returning to one's roots. Or you never know, returning to their roots. And we got the star card, and the star card is about keeping the faith and the hope alive. There's a new beginning, there's the ace of cups, and the justice card. So the fool tells me that, take the leap of faith, that there's some kind of new beginning here. It might have to do with love. We have the ace of cups. It's overpouring, um, new beginnings, new relationship, and we got the justice card. I get what I give. The justice card again. We got the justice card... Oh, right over here too. So it's it could be about balance. It could be um, life lessons, maybe contracts, something legal. Don't know, but you got the fool, the ace of cups, and the justice card. I say balance. You know, what you give, you get, you receive. Okay. And there's some kind of new love that came in not too long ago. You got the ace of cups. On top of the ace of cups, you got the tower. You got the strength card and you got the ten of wands. Something took place here in the past that shook you up a little bit. It caused a little chaos um, for you. But it seems like you found your strength. Like you were able to overcome that moment no matter what you overcame it. And although you overcame it, it still feels heavy. I had the ten of wands. Overload, responsibilities. Stress, problems, weight on your shoulders. So on top of the love, the new love, we got the tower. I surrender to the storm. Maybe something took place here. Then the strength card. Strength begins with the choice to be kind to myself. And the ten of wands, overburdened. Why would the new love bring chaos and confusion so suddenly? What took place? Let's keep going. This is past energy though, okay? We got the tower, we got the strength, and we got the ten of wands. Now, the ten of wands is a situation too. I mean, you're still moving. It just feels heavy. Um, you can ask for help or you can find another way to do whatever it is that you're working on. The justice card on top of the justice card. There's an argument. We got the Five of Swords. Conflict might be something legal. Um, and there's a lot of hostility. However, things are expanding for you. They're moving forward no matter what. <sighs> then we got the tra Hangman. Feeling trapped, confined, self-limiting, uncertain. You're uncertain about whatever is taking place here. And you're stuck. Even though there's so much possibilities around you of things evolving and moving forward and travel abroad you're kind of stuck something has you kind of stuck here it's like if you want to go but you can't go you know that kind of way so we got the five of swords the three of wands and the hangman which is about delays delays then we got the three of pentacles and the three of pentacles is about financial matters your finance is growing you got the page of swords some communication, significant information received. You're very curious about it. It came in real fast. And they got the... So we got the Page of Swords, we got the Chariot, and we have the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups is about your wishes and your dreams coming true. And it came in pretty fast. The Chariot says, no obstacle will stop me now. You got the Page of Swords. You're going to have some significant communication here. The communication is going to be like... um, um straightforward it ain't gonna be no beating around the bush it's straightforward communication is coming in fast your wishes are and dreams are coming true you got the ace um, the page of swords the chariot and the nine of cups things are growing things are evolving then the six of pentacles on top of the six of pentacles you got the king of swords which could be an, a gemini a libra or an aquarius this energy is bringing in um, some energy, um, some happiness, bringing in some happiness to the home front. It might be some type of reunion, but there's, there's some pain here as well with this energy. 
the Three of Swords, there was some kind of heartbreak that happened with this energy. We have the Three of Swords. So you got the King of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Three of Swords. I don't know if something took place with this energy that broke your heart. Okay? And then we got the Tower. And the Tower is about chaos and confusion. On top of the Tower... We have the Eight of Wands, we have the Three of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. I say whatever this Tower moment is, and this Three of Swords, this, this heartbreak is, I feel that... I feel that... You're going to overcome this. That it's not going to last too long. You got the Eight of Wands, which is something coming in fast. We got the Three of Pentacles again, which is about building, you know, building your finances. Um, your finances, building is teamwork. It's about collaboration. It's about partnership. Okay, and things building for you in the universe. Financially, your love, something. But you having some anxiety over this. What's going on? Is it because it, it was sudden and it caused chaos in your life? And now you're overthinking things? Having some fear and anxiety? You have the Eight of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. And the Seven of Swords. You got some new solutions to these problems. So you got the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. You're going to overcome whatever it is, whatever deceitful energy, whatever broke your heart, whatever took place here with this air energy. There's a new beginning here. There's a new beginning here for you. We got the Ace of Wands. A new creative beginning. Now it could be... Um, it could be fertility as well, pregnancy. Um, it could be doing the do, you know what I mean? Then, but we got a queen of pentacles. The queen of pentacles is an earth energy. Uh, Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. Or it could be um, about fertility, you being capable of taking care of the finances. You're very um, creative. You're concerned with the welfare of others. And then you got the king. Of cups, well, you know, um, that's you, Cancer. The King of Cups is you. Um, you know, Cancer, you you're like the mother, you're the nurturer, you know. So the Queen of Pentacles could be describing your personality and who you are, you know. So we have the Ace of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. Now the King of Cups is a water energy. Um, the King of Cups could be a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio, or it could be that you're starting to feel emotionally balanced. You have the Ace of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. You're going to overcome whatever it is that's going on there. Just an Antico. You want to come sit with me? Okay, I'm back. All right, and this is Tico. Tico is a little deer head chihuahua. He's a little old man. But he loves to be in my lap. And Benjamin is right over there. A little jealous. But Benjamin is too big to be in my lap. And he understands that. So anyway, so there's some kind of creative new beginning here for you. Now with the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles, you could be talking about fertility. Um, but it's new beginnings, new creative beginnings for you. Um, you might be starting something um, new, having a new initiative or something. Um, the Queen of Pentacles, like I said, is about fertility, prosperity. You know how to handle the money. You're the nurturer and everything. That could be describing you. And then we have the King of Cups, which is a water energy, which could be a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. All right? Which would be you, feeling emotionally balanced. And then we have the Eight of Swords. Now, the Eight of Swords is you feeling kind of tied up inside, you know? Um, we got the world card on top of the eight of swords. We got two of swords and the seven of swords. So the world card is about successful completion of things, okay? Achieving um, achievements and travel, completion, fulfillment, a sense of belonging, 
and you're going to need to make a decision. This decision is going to be a pretty tough decision. We got the Seven of Swords here again. The Seven of Swords could be about deceit and lies, the enemy masquerading as a friend. So pay attention, okay? Pay attention. It could be about risk taking as well. Or you could be making a break for it. You got the world, you got the Two of Swords, or you, and the Seven of Swords. And then, on top of the Seven of Swords, we have the Judgment card, we have the Magician, and we have the Seven of Cups. Now, the Judgment card is about going within and releasing things that no longer serve you. And once you do that, you will start feeling a sense of, of rebirth. Um, you'll feel revitalized. You'll feel brand new because you're letting go of that, all that old crap you've been holding on to for so long. You got the magician. You got a lot of magical energy around you, okay? Anything you touch can turn to gold, okay? You have everything creative that you need within you. And then you got the seven of cups. You got some choices. But don't go over analyzing those choices. All right? You're dreaming about things, but you do have more than one choice. Pay attention, all right? You got the judgment card, the magician, and the seven of cups. No matter what decision you have to make, no matter what's giving you some anxiety over here, no matter what this um, heartbreak was or the towel moment was, you I feel that you're going to overcome things. All right, babies? Everything is going to start working out. You're going to get good news. And it's going to make you feel very enthusiastic. And you're going to find your courage, okay, to do the things that you need to do. We got the Knight of Wands. Don't be too hasty. It's a lot of passion involved. All right? You might be going on a journey. On a journey. And this might just be a, a little um, rendezvous, a little adventure, you know? And the Ace of Swords is about clarity, new ideas, mental clarity, or communication. So whatever is going on, I feel that everything will work out because these last three cards are very positive cards. You know, you're going to receive good news. You got a lot of passion involved here. And you're going to have mental clarity to make the decisions that you need to make. Okay, Cancer? Don't take too long, though. Don't go over analyzing things. You got the Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. I love you guys dearly. You take care of yourselves. And we definitely will chat soon.